Hello everyone. Recently, we have been getting a lot of questions about how a female gets pregnant, so we decided to make this video to answer all those questions. But before we continue, if you're new here, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more great videos. So when it comes to how a woman gets pregnant, there are several things that need to happen first. The first thing that needs to happen is ovulation. For a woman to be able to get pregnant, she needs to be ovulating. This means that her ovaries need to be releasing an egg each month. Normally this happens once a month, and the cycle usually lasts around 28 days. However, the length of a woman's cycle can vary from 21 to 35 days. The first day of her period is considered day one of her cycle. And if you want to know more about what happens after ovulation, check out our video on what happens after ovulation. When the egg is released, it travels down the fallopian tube and into the uterus. If sperm meet the egg at the right time and in the right place, one lucky sperm can actually fertilize the egg. After the egg is fertilized, it becomes an embryo. Once the embryo is formed, it will start to divide and grow as it travels down the fallopian tube towards the uterus. It usually takes about five to seven days for the embryo to reach the uterus. Once it arrives in the uterus, it will implant into the uterine lining. This is also known as nesting. Nesting usually occurs about six to 10 days after fertilization. After the embryo has implanted, it will continue to grow and develop over the next nine months until it is ready to be born. There are several things that can affect a woman's ability to get pregnant. These include age, overall health, and reproductive organs. A woman's fertility begins to decline as she ages, especially after 35. This is because the quality and quantity of her eggs also declines with age. Certain medical conditions such as polycystic ovarian syndrome, PCOS, can also make it difficult for a woman to get pregnant. This is because PCOS can cause irregular ovulation. Women who have endometriosis may also have difficulty getting pregnant. Endometriosis occurs when the tissue that normally lines the uterus grows outside of the uterus. This can cause scarring and inflammation, which can make it difficult for the embryo to implant in the uterus. Did you know that the chances of getting pregnant each month are very low? Only about 20 to 30% of couples trying to conceive will actually get pregnant each month. This is because the chances of sperm meeting the egg at the right time and in the right place are slim. Also, not all eggs are healthy or will result in a viable pregnancy. Some eggs may be too old or damaged to be fertilized. Others may divide abnormally or fail to implant in the uterus. That is why it can sometimes take a while for a couple to get pregnant. You're having trouble getting pregnant? There are several things you can do. First, try to identify and treat any underlying medical conditions that may be affecting your fertility. You can also try making some lifestyle changes, such as eating a healthy diet, exercising regularly, and avoiding alcohol and tobacco. If you've tried these things and you're still having trouble getting pregnant, you may want to consider seeing a fertility specialist. A fertility specialist is a doctor who has special training in helping people who are having trouble getting pregnant. They can perform tests to identify any problems that may be contributing to your infertility and recommend treatment options. There are many different treatment options available, such as medication or surgery. In some cases, a fertility specialist may also recommend in vitro fertilization, IVF. IVF is a procedure in which eggs and sperm are fertilized outside of the body and then the embryo is transferred into the uterus. Getting pregnant is a complex process that can be affected by a number of factors. By understanding the basics of how it happens, you can better identify any potential problems and seek help if needed. With advances in technology and treatment options, more and more couples are able to successfully conceive and have healthy babies. Did you find this video helpful? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like. See you next time.